I've already started recording because apparently where we need to go to, <laughs> it's not that far away, so... Father's well, my recording, start recording right now. Hope you don't, you guys don't mind. So once again, check out my ride. This is simply the mount system of Star Wars. As far as... You already start with a mount that is, has a 90% incre speed, movement speed increase. Which is way higher than anything that thing that WoW ever did. And in my consideration, that's a good thing. Some frame rate issues. Hmm. Okay. On second thought, see you guys later. Because apparently where I need to go to is a little bit further than I thought. And I'd rather not ruin everything just yet. See you guys. So, uh, you can see we're standing near a big pile of bones, and there's the entrance into this last little bit. At least I think this is the way to get there. Okay, correction, it isn't. Damn it. Okay, well, it can't be too hard to get to the entrance, right? Probably just go up here. And then, d d d come on! No! Son of a bitch! Oh, now I need to go take the detour. Oh, you son of a bitch. I'll take the long way. Son of a bitch. Hate this. So that we're finally we're probably gonna conclude the nasty business on this planet. Oh. This is really bad right now. Also, I'm leveling get a new ability. Check this out. Point. Stunned? Nice. We'll just, uh, we can take the speeder. I have no idea how to get to that entrance safe. Or at least I don't know. But I do know now. Here it is. God damn it. So here we go. Once again, off to the rescue. Let's get to business. This can end well. Oh boy. Ah, it's the Jaws. Hey, look. Hey, guys. How are you doing? I can't sense Master Kuix at all anymore. She's alive. I know it. She won't die. Not as long as I live. I'll handle that beast, my friend. Keep your family safe. Did you get half of the bunker? For good only on be bedwana. Ni bobo choba uma. Obanya. I always fight brave. Hello, I'm a Jedi. Here we go. Now that thing doesn't look so scary. Not so tough. You're done. <laughs> Big, I don't even, it's not so big as I thought it would be, actually. They said sandy, and I expected something a little bit more frightening. Oh boy. They are cute, though. I wonder if I could keep one of those things as a pet. Damn it, damage over time things are interrupting my introspection. Uh, these are just sand demon spawns. Now I see. So that's it. It just freeze up here. That's not very good. Let's go kill this damn thing and get this over with. There we go. Well, we are, I do like the complete quest, even if they are bones. So, about to experience generic questing, which is kill anything. Kill everything you need to kill. But, uh, but he'll strike, uh, is there in his ability. Okay, 
these things hit a little harder than I thought. No wonder, level 27. They're not like the other losers I've been fighting. Apparently I need to kill the sand demon first. I don't know why though. Might as well just do it. Okay, this place is crumbling a little too fast for my taste. We better finish this quickly. There we go. Easy as pie. Now let's go face the big one. It ain't gonna be easy. I'm gonna have to do it. Hiya! Hiya! Ho! Hiya! Ho! and I'm sitting here sleeping. Let's run and save this world. I'm building up quite a world-saving reputation with this. I should put that on my resume. I wonder if that would have an effect. So it didn't kill all the spawns. There's a shocker. I am who? Okay, you want to be big and menacing? Yeah, that's another little ability I've got. It's, it's actually just a different version. It's actually a less useful version of Hill Strike called Pommel Strike, which can only be activated once an enemy is incapacitated. So that's not so easy. Just in case, heal up a bit. Because to be honest, these things are quite tough. Considering what they are. Uh, Oh boy. Bad move. Bad move. That was not nice. Freaking little bastards. Sneak attack. Although maybe call on the force was a bit. Unnecessary. Let's keep moving. I don't know how much further just to that damn thing, but I won't be able to kill enough of those sand demons, that's for sure. Let's get that damn ripoff already. Increase his armor again. What the hell? The damn thing got a rock on his head. Dead. Most people will take something to the head. Most people will take a rock to the head the size of their heads, probably from a couple of hundred feet. Mostly have their brains squashed. Now what do we do? Why don't they put a manual on this on these things? So Oh, the code transmission. Now that here, right? That should work. Yay! And 
She's lying right there, and everything is still shaking a bit. Let's have a little chat with Master Kiwix, the great Jedi Master who gets owned. Quiet, finally. I can breathe again. I've been down here so long. Shh, Master, let us help you. Kira and Orgus's Padawan. You're both changed. What has happened? Uh, save your strength, lady. You just went through hell. All that matters right now is you are safe. I only survived this weapon by withdrawing into a deep trance. The force itself became my armor. I need to get myself some force. the trance cost me great. In real pain. life. My strength is a fraction of what it was. What you did was miraculous. We'll handle things from here. I know you faced terrible dangers for me. I will not forget that. Yeah, right. And I'm supposed to believe that? Here you are. I was coming to help when sensors indicated the shock drum stopped. You did it. Yep. Rick wasn't exaggerating about the sand demon. I've never seen anything like it. Huh. <sighs> it's unfortunately it had to die. I'm lying, but I'm just gonna say it, just for the fun of it. I almost hated having to destroy it. <laughs> My friends, the danger is not yet past. Oh, great. Even deactivated, that weapon remains a threat. You understand the situation best. What should we do? Bury it forever. I do not want to see this thing ever again. This technology can't fall into the wrong hands again. Let's collapse the cavern network with explosives. What? Uh, all that work? The people who died protecting it? Think how many more would have died. The galaxy is better off without such weapons. True. I will see to the shock drum. You should return to your ship and inform General Varsuthra what's happened. Uh, I'm gonna say two. Master, you've just been through a terrible ordeal. Will you be all right? Do not concern yourself with my welfare. I am still a Jedi. Lady. Before we go, you need to know something. And I'd rather you hear it from me. I never told you about my childhood. I'm not who you think I am. Oh boy, here we go. So much about you is now clear to me, Kira. But you're wrong about one thing. Huh? You are exactly who I think. A strong, capable young woman. One day, you'll be a great Jedi. And I agree, agree about that completely. If you could see what she's accomplished, you'd be proud. We'll meet again on Tython. May the Force be with you. It's always with me. It's been a good friend from beginning to end. Well, let's get the hell out of here. So that's been that whole ordeal. Let's get back to the ship. And get to the conclusion. Uh, okay, let's... I'm gonna make a small recap of this. Story so far, what I think of it. In a nutshell... I think it's fabulous. I think it's just great how they've done this. It's the first time that you more get a reason to... L Most MMOs, what is your reason for playing and progressing? Armor, abilities, leveling. It's all about the key. It's all about items and levels, getting better abilities, the whole damn thing. Getting a place in the world, showing that you... I am the great, uber-powerful dude, and everyone should respect me. And this, much less. They found a better way to give you an, an incentive to play this game, besides the traditional MMO reason. And I think that's just such a great thing to do. World of Warcraft has been done it, and every other, almost every other MMO afterwards has been doing the same thing over and over again. And, well, quite frankly, I've just about had enough of WoW. Mostly just because, let me tell you what I think has gone wrong with WoW. Basically, the problem is, it's been listening way too much to its community. You might be thinking, but that's a good thing. I'm not saying that listening t to your player base is a bad thing. I'm just saying that they've been listening to a whole lot of people who have... You see, okay, the game, I have to admit, it's not the most challenging MMO in the world, but it's still... 
I've done on a couple of times that have nothing to do with an instance. I haven't been able to do any raids or, as they call them in this game, operations. But it's basically the same. <coughs> but it's also just way better. It's all it still holds much of its generic quest and thing. But what makes it a bit different in, in the way that they present it. For example, you do a lot of things, but they're mostly always in a form of not always doing the same thing. It's mostly always collect something and killing X amount of enemies is probably something you're doing along the way, which is one of these bonus quests you will be doing. And I think that's just the way that this game is much more pr presented in its form. It's much more dynamic qu by questing. A little bit more... They're not directly saying to you, Oh my god, we have a problem, could you go kill these dudes for us? They say that, but not directly. They're not... There's not somebody who's going to tell you. There's not 20,000 quests about a guy walking up to you saying, Yeah, could you kill these dudes for us? There is none of that in this game. And I think that is just a way better thing to do than. And then uh, what they've been doing this whole time. World of Warcraft still holds on to that same ideal of. Here's your quest, go do it. If you don't do it, well, that's your choice. Apparently I got another, uh... Oof, tough one. Then we're just gonna have to put it in here. Yes, thank you. Hmm, that could be sold as well. But like I was continuing saying, without while I was still focused, while I was focusing on selling crap, like I said, the, the game is presented in a what much more storyline because it gives you much more of an incentive to play it. You could say it's also a cheap way of keeping play people people playing, and then of course, as you know, there's still a monthly fee with this one, so you'll be spending. Credits, uh, credits. Look how again how much I'm, I'm getting immersed into this game. I can't even know the difference anymore between real money and Star Wars money. Simply put money into the game. But of course, some people are a bit skeptical. It is great for maybe the first couple of three months, but most people, there are quite those more hardcore MMO fans who think it won't last longer than six months. And that's its maximum. Most people think they w it will last. Why? Because they think it just doesn't work. Because it's not really something they can delve into. But I think they can extend this game to a long period of time. World of Warcraft has been a success for one single reason. It's lore. F consider how long the game has been around. It's been... World of Warcraft's lore is all based, of course, on a game. On the secret, it's all based on the Warcraft series. <laughs> to hand one it to the three. SIS. Plus Nobody does Warcraft no 1 to 3, like plus them. their expansions. It's got a rich world with books worth of lore, which makes it, of course, way better than everything else. But that, of course, uh, that is also possible with Star Wars. Well, this is, of is course. My favorite Jedi. You plays like you long before the movies, song. it's still capable of giving you a lot of Did you see the device? more. Camus was worried that if you failed, it'd mean the end of the world. Well, I... You saw Zerka's records! Yeah, and I've been worried too, so catch your breath and let's hear it. Mm. A device. It had an ancient creature trapped inside. It had gone insane. I had to kill it. You're kidding! I had no idea. But if it's settled, that's good enough for me. Yeah, this, so this is, is one over, of the quests that, sure. I did, that I picked You'll up that have to nothing to do with the storyline. The investigation of Zerka won't end here. Get me to Coruscant, away from the Sand People and Zerka Cyborg Assassins? I'll testify all you want. <laughs> you should know. Scan has picked up a Zerka ship fleeing the system. They're running scared now. Without Lexende, 
They've lost their claws. Anyway, I promised you payment. Don't ever say the SIS isn't grateful. The SIS is, 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 is grateful. Now take care of yourself and try not to get pulled back into these corporate schemes. Camus can tell you, they never really end. <laughs> okay, now that that little business is done. Ooh, new stuff. Hell yeah, way better stuff than what I have right now. At least I think it is. Yeah, we'll take them. Okay, um... As I was saying, there have been a lot of, of course, MMOs ever since, well, WoW's expansions, practically. Ever since Wrath of the Lich King, more and more MMOs have been popping up left and right. Japanese, Koreans, more the simple ones from more Western MMOs, such as Rift. A good Korean, a Korean uh, example, Ion, and, well... Basically, there's been a lot of MMOs. Vehicle pads are currently open what for I business. do have a problem with. But have all of them, of course, have been based on a... ...fantasy world they had to create, that they had to build from scratch. And to create a fully immersive kind of MMO galaxy, world, dimensions, whatever kind of setting you're going for, that takes a lot of skill and work. That's, in my in my honest opinion, not the easiest job in the world. Star Wars. <laughs> Six movies, about a, I'd say over a hundred video games, comics, probably novels, books, an anime, TV series, so on and so forth. The game is gone. Star Wars has gone way beyond the movies. <laughs> there are more fan video there are more fan based videos of Star Wars than anything else. Anyone who wants to rectify that is willing to do so, but I don't even check YouTube so much for that kind of videos and I just know that's the case. The fact of the matter remains that what I'm trying to say is that in order to create a good MMO world, you need to create something believable. But you need something that has a lot of backstory to it. That's why World of Warcraft also catched on so well. It had a long history already with its video games. And probably already books, novels, and comics maybe before the whole... Before even World of Warcraft launched. I'm not the biggest... Biggest uh, World of Warcraft or Warcraft franchise expert in the world, so... I can't really comment on that front, but you can you cannot deny that World of Warcraft has had an enormous impact on the. Just a second, I just need to find my. <laughs> there she is downstairs. Dink. But back to the point that I was trying to get at. Okay, he has nothing to teach me. Okay, back to the point. Uh, what I was trying to say is... Is that the game... That MMO worlds... MMO environments created are very difficult when it comes to what you're sending it into. Glad the only to share other my game that I can say that is built from scratch that could really work out well... Is of course Guild Wars 2 is an upcoming MMO. It's still of course in production. There's there's been a closed beta. It's been tested at all kinds of game uh, games conventions. I wouldn't know. I haven't played it. I've seen it, and I absolutely sold to it. Actually, I haven't even played it. And by the looks of it, it's just going to be complete and utter crazy. If you ask me. I think it could be really something incredible. As long as they do one thing. They pull it off right. Uh, 
And that is, of course, the big question. Can they pull it off right? And that's something, of course, we're just going to have to wait for to see. Can they really pull it off? So here's the heavy armor I've been looking for. No, oh, that's medium armor. Damn it, where's... Don't these guys have heavy armor? Just a second, I need to go find some of the stuff that I could use. But it looks of it, these guys... They're... No, wait, that's... That's the trooper armor. These lazy bastards don't even have any... That's the only heavy armor they've got. And it's a damaging style, as far as I could tell. But it does seem to be better. I think we should just take it. All three of it, I mean. We'll first go for this one. That's one. How many do I have left now? Set to accommodations, nine. I'm gonna have to pick. Yeah, pretty much this one. This is a bit different than what I'm used to. Let's see if we can reverse engineer this stuff. Yes, I can. But back to the point. MMOs have been coming in a lot lately. But really pulling off a good one? <laughs> nah, that's when we're talking about something very difficult. But anything's possible if you put your mind... If you put your mind to it. And like I said, Guild Wars really has the potential to become something really better. Mostly, because... Mostly, if you think about it, almost every MMO, as I said about anyone who's been doing the review on Guild Wars 2, and probably comparison, every MMO ever since World of Warcraft has been launched, is MMO, has been based on the same things as like World of Warcraft. The biggest reason for this is, like I've said long before, in a way, World of Warcraft put the template f for a new MMO standard, just like Guild, just like EverQuest did before that. Guild Wars is breaking loose from this constant seeing of people creating the same kind of, kind of MMO and changing it into a new dimension. Apparently, there is some extra questing around here, so I could ramble on, but let's just first see what he has to say. Get your boy inside. We got ten minutes before the wind picks up. What about Chancellor? Well, she's not stupid. She'll be here. Just go. Who? You should get inside, too. There's a sandstorm coming, and the spaceport's a designated shelter. No flights in or out for a while. You can't get word out to everyone yourself. I'll bring people back. Just keep the shelter open. Interesting. I'd expect that from a Jedi. All right. But we locked down at 20. Move. Okay, guys, I could have can, I can continue rambling about this shit, but we've got apparently something on our hands. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <coughs> We've done all we can. Now we wait. I've got a nice new rope with this thing. It's pretty cool looking, if you ask me. Well, looks like we got out okay. Pretty much everyone did. Though we lost three power generators. Oh, let me guess. That's my job to react to this thing. What was it? Some Sith Lord causing ground quakes in the desert? Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
How does he know about that? You're very well informed for a... What did you say your job was? Name's Galen. I'm just a man enjoying his retirement. Trying yeah, to get you're something well back to the for a retired dude. Look, these people have it rough in the best of times, but between pirates and sandstorms and sand people, we can't take much more. If you leave without finishing the job you started, how long before the Empire claims this planet? The job I started? You're asking me to stay, but I've done what I came for. And along the way, you helped out all sorts of people. Would it hurt to focus on that for once? Mm, Tatooine's only really. chance is Maybe. unity. Making communities that can stand together against warlords and monsters. That sounds like Espelar's a word because... our best hope. It's a trading post where farmers, Jawas, and leaders from half a dozen towns swap information. The Empire means to burn it to the ground. How will the Empire burn it to the ground? Sandstorm uh, broke Espelar's defenses. In. And the Imperials will send in saboteurs. You need to give the people breathing room. Help them rebuild. Stop the Imperials. Head into town and help put this planet on the path to being a proud, independent society. Or give up and go. Your choice. He really puts me in a guilt trip with this. I could make a reference here, but I won't. So let's just get this business over. Uh, guys, I think I've rented a long... Crampy long enough about this whole game about this whole thing about MMOs and this shit let's go do this and we'll continue this story at a later date ladies and gentlemen hmm I'm all of a sudden thinking about continuing maybe this on you know what I think I will see you guys in Espalar so we're nearing the area that we need to go to, which apparently we just need to kill some saboteurs. As the infamous conqueror Jeremias Clarksonius once said, How hard can it be? If no nobody gets that reference, you haven't really been watching that much TV, have you? Or you really, really don't know what humor is and you really, really, really don't like cars. Okay, uh, apparently they're in here. Fine for me. Makes it easier for me to kill. Oh, there's one right there. Let's see. Let's hit this dude from the head first. Boom. Point. Sabagoosh! Own. Let's own more. Because I just got warmed up. Hmm. I don't think there are enough in that place, so. Might as well just. Wait. First, we need to reverse engineer something. I'm hoping to get a special type of which is a overkill. Now, god damn it, that's not the one I need. You stupid machine. Overkill is not what I'm looking for. There should be another one that gives me a defense rating of some sort. I'm hoping to get my hands on that one. Actually, never mind. Let's just get to this. Whatever, T7. Just get to work. I'll get what I need. You have but to ask, Master. Consider the matter handled. Too easy. Just go down, you stupid piece of shit. There we go. Just need one more saboteur, and I think I saw 
One. There we go. Time to kick your ugly ass. There we go. So actually, as you can see in the uh, top right corner, this is a bonus type of quest line. It's all about you, everybody discovering the great things that you live here on the, on the planet, and everybody does all the stuff. I want your help in making a real difference. There was a similar such a thing on... What the... Oh. Uh, let's just first then... God damn it, wrong button. There was a similar such a thing on... Uh, Terrace. With completely rebuilding it alloy. Had a hard time finding what was really part of the rebuilding. Of it, but... Look, questing means leveling, and I think leveling is fine. Although it does cause for me to get a bit... Let's call it... You know about the term overkill? Overgeared? I call it overleveling. I seriously get too strong for the area. Sam people have been busy around here. Uh... Oh, there's something there I cannot miss out on. Just fucking die! I said die! I could have killed him, unfortunately, but I was a little... I completely forgot about it. Never mind. Took him down. And it gave me a... A sniper rifle. Well, as far as I know, my droid can't use sniper rifles, so... Too bad for him. Anyway, back to the point. Let's... And this is also maybe a good time for what could be in store for the future. As in, what could I be planning to do with my channel? Probably when I really am already... Which could happen very soon after this quest stuff is over. God damn it. Except for I'm not flat on my ass and I can't move for some reason. Anyway, back to the point. Uh, I'm hoping to get as much content at the moment. It's pure. It's pure the only Jedi Knight storyline. I do. Break your record, boss. I also have a Inquisitor, a Smuggler, and a Bounty Hunter. But I've already started with them, and I'm not going to go through the starting areas again just to show you that. And most people are just going to be a bit weird if I all of a sudden start halfway through a quest slot, through a storyline of another class. So this is the place they were talking about. Jawas. Love this little guy. If you don't know that one, go from watch The Phantom Menace. You'll understand it. Let's have a first with cricket, shall we? Hmm. 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 We do have meat. Mm -hmm. Just tell me how I can be of service. Hmm. Oh, that's not nice. I like the Jawas. There's nothing wrong with them. I'll go help you. Wait here. I'll have your people freed in no time. That you think the... Okay, that's the first. Quest in this area. Welcome. Please select an available. Just selecting it so that I know that I have this point done already. Okay, T7 created the next. Let's see here. What's the first one? Read out rigid flex arm guards or something. Yeah, good. What do you need to create something like that? 
Exonolite. Oh, a great free underworld metal. Good to know. Is it better? In a certain way it is. But I think it's better if we focus on this. We'll craft two of those. Let's have a little chat with Dak Willix. Weird name, but hey, who am I to judge? Sorry to bother you, stranger. We sure could use a hand cleaning up these dead and wounded. What we really need help driving off those sand people who caused this mess. You're right. Care to tell me what's wrong? What's it look like? Sand people raid. Ten, maybe fifteen dead. More injured. We've gotta stop. You gotta this. get out of the sun, dude. I won't or send don't our boys wear your goggles slaughter. when you're in the sun. They're farmers, not soldiers. True. So don't. But when someone who can help comes by, ask them to. Instead of getting them to play doctor and mortician. Uh. Stop arguing and I'll help. I'd be happy to crack some sand people's skulls. Just shut up. See? I knew someone would be willing to help us. Come back here when you've taught those sand people a lesson. We don't got a lot, but I'm sure the folks will be happy to donate to anyone who gets those monsters off their backs. Well, I'm good at uh, beating up dudes, so let's go do that. Especially evil dudes. Evil dudes are bad. And they should be taught manners. And that's what I'm here for. To teach people manners. I'm not the prime example of it, but I don't care. And that's not important. Hey, you're the Jedi Galen sent, right? Uh, could be. Old man's kind of crazy, but he has his moments. I'm Mayor Aaron, and this hole in Mayor? the sand is mine. I stopped the Imperials. Imperial saboteurs were headed for your outpost. They planned to destroy it. You're serious? Huh. Who knew? Galen claims well, the this Imperial outpost did. is key to uniting the planet. And Galen I'd like did. to agree, but I've got other things to worry about. Sand people always follow the sandstorms, and there must be a dozen tribes out there. Plus pirates, broken equipment. Let's pull out or be slaughtered. Don't give up yet. Let me see what I can do. I've handled sand people and pirates before. So have we, but not like this. But you're not a Jedi like me. Look around. And anything you can do, I'll be grateful. Until things clear up, though, I think you're our last visitor. Well, I wouldn't be too sure about that. Nice. Some new crap. Uh, is T7 doing? No, that's the first one. I'm just gonna wait for the second one. Okay, first apparently, I need to talk to Junter Galt. What is he, an old... Is he an old man bounty hunter? He does wear that kind of outfit. Desert's quiet for the moment. Too bad it won't last. Uh. I'm Jinter Galt, leader of the Anchorhead Militia in this area. You're the Can leader? You some of that Jedi wisdom of yours. Well, I've lost too many I don't have much wisdom, but I do have a lightsaber. People. Is that good enough? All I've got left are soft recruits and no one to teach some combat skills. Uh... I can help them the way. Restraint, caution, defense. I'll teach them well. That's generous of you, Master Jedi. Uh, thank you. Excuse me, sir. I thought you might like a break from watch duty. I'm not tired yet. There's someone here you should meet. Hello. This here's Vastel. Good soldier. But no tactical know-how. He's heading up our new squad of recruits. Think you could take these men under your wing, march them into sand people territory, Show them how a true warrior fights. I'd be happy to. Bring the recruits out. We'll start immediately. Thank you. I, I promise we won't slow you down. Uh, Move it in the sand. Astle knows where the sand people lurk. Go with him. Show his crew how to fight. I was planning to. Okay, that's pretty much it for this little bunch. Uh, so guys, uh... We're gonna go kick some ass, but I'll do that later because it's getting a little late and I just want to conclude this for now. See you guys later.